हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ईपीजी पार्सला प्रोग्राम मैं सेल्फ डॉक्टर शुभव्रत दत्त प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशल वर्क असम यूनिवर्सिटी शिलचर इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस रूरल मार्केटिंग इन इंडिया अंडर द कोर्स रूरल डेवलपमेंट दो रूरल इकोनॉमी इज अ प्रिडोमिनेंटली एग्रेरियन बेस्ड हाउ एवर देर हैज बीन the depletion of the agrarian productivity which has indirectly reflecting in the increasing challenges to rural development with the advent of this crisis the rural masses are alienating from agriculture and restoring to migration that means agriculture is the main backbone of the rural economy in different modules we have discussed the problems of the agriculture and due to agriculture is unable to pro is unable to provide full employment opportunities full production opportunities and other developmental scope and the different problems the agriculture itself is encountering the movement of migration so that the shift of people from the rural to urban in the search of employment is increasing and accordingly it is our poverty circle is actually spreading it is not towards the development oriented despite the modern farming techniques with high yielding variety of seeds irrigation and increased use of fertilizer a vast number of farmer still dependent on conventional way of farming and are unable to access to proper marketing of the agrarian products different pr agrarian products are there but if they are not interested enough to accept the modern techniques then that not be useful for them in the absence of proper avenues of marketing the farmers are at receiving end of poverty marginalization and alienation from the agrarian livelihood farmers are depending on agrarian uh, livelihood but still due to of absence of the avenues they are in a marginalized condition minimum support minimum support system to strengthen the farmers agrarian livelihood from the government is a prerequisite to promote people centered rural development that means agricultural livelihood to be improved okay and prerequisite to promote people centered rural development how it is possible in addition to the minimum support system to promote agricultural productivity coupled with rural marketing will pave the way towards poverty alleviation of rural farmers so when only farming is not possible then agricultural productivity in combination with the rural marketing will pave the way towards the poverty alleviation for the rural masses rural marketing involves the process of developing pricing promoting distributing rural specific product and a service lending to exchange between rural and urban market which satisfies consumer demand and also achieves organizational objective that means rural markets have specific roles to play in this directions now how rural market can be defined or can be conceptually it can be taken into a shape rural marketing is a defined as a process of already stated pricing promoting distributing developing rural specific goods and services which can lead to exchange between rural and urban markets that can satisfy customer demand and organizational objectives both customer demand and organizational objective furthermore rural marketing deals with the various projects inputs and services that are meant for the development of a rural market and its linkages hence it differs from agriculture marketing which stands for marketing of rural products or outputs to the urban consumer or to an institutional market i am repeating once again to understand the difference between the two rural marketing deals with various projects inputs and services meant for the development of a rural market whereas agricultural marketing 
stands for marketing of rural products or outputs to the urban consumer. Agricultural based products in a urban market and for the urban customer stated agricultural marketing. Rural products is basically rural based requirement and inputs for the rural masses. The domination of rural marketing is ominously different from the way of marketing is a planned and implemented in urban areas. Most of fast moving consumer goods in short form we generally say FMCG companies such as HUL, Pepsi, Britannia, Coca-Cola, Colgate, Samsung, Pamolib and etc are linking their marketing activities in rural markets as well as due to major socio-economic shifts in rural consumer. Rural consumer has grown enough in quantity and has become well aware about the needs of upgrading standard of living. Information and communication technologies, various government policies and initiatives, corporate strategies and etc. are now few major factors for the development of rural marketing in India. I am explaining. The companies which are founding the certain products have the demand into the rural market are moving towards. For example, in the band of Pepsi, Coca-Cola, their cold drinks have enough demand into the rural market. And due to certain government policies, rural customers are having prices in their hand and they were aware about these are the products as because information base have increased and that's why rural market is much more opened up than the earlier and it is much more demanded in the entire world market and that's why number the renowned companies and multinational companies are trying to sell out their products and targeting their customers into the rural sectors. How rural market has been evolved, evolution? There are certain phases are there. First phase, independence to green revolution. Before the dawn of green revolution, the nature and stance of a rural market was overall different. Rural marketing by then referred to marketing of products from rural areas, either in a rural or urban settings. That means purchase of the products referred to the rural marketing, not for the rural areas or the urban settings. Second phase from green revolution to the pre-liberalization period. Throughout the course of this period, due to the introduction and spread of green revolution, rural marketing specifically, the repressed marketing of the agricultural input sorry represented marketing of agricultural inputs as well as the products in rural markets as well as marketing of rural produce in urban area that means rural areas tried to started to purchase the products in demand and rural products were also moving to urban market for their marketing so both way it has started from the green revolution to the pre-liberalization period in the third phase, that is the post-liberalization period on the 20th century. Third phase, rural marketing in Indian economy started after liberalization of the economy. During this period, rural marketing represented the evolving diverse activity of attracting as well as serving rural markets to accomplish the needs of individuals, rural households and the livelihood. That means much more demand increased. Diverse activities started getting attraction to the rural population and that's why different companies, multinational companies started to get entry into the rural market to satisfy the needs of the rural population. Fourth phase that is in this 21st century. Learning from its rural marketing experiences after the independence, the corporate world has finally realized the quick fix solution and pessimal approaches will deliver only limited results in rural markets. They also understood there is a long term strategy and approach is required. Rural market and rural developing. A few years back, rural market in India was an unknown area due to poor infrastructural facilities like communication, transportation, less purchasing power of the rural people. Definitely. 
if some products has to be sold into the rural market, it would require proper road connectivity to brought out the production to the rural market. You require proper communication facilities so that the retailers and the producers will have a connectivity for that. And people must have a purchase power to get to purchase these other products. With the advance of changes that look place in terms of basic infrastructure development, the scope for promoting rural markets and rural marketing has gained space. Now there is a possibility of reaching out to rural areas due to various factors like connectivity between rural and urban has increased. Therefore, a change in the agricultural development and change in the lifestyle of consumption pattern of the villages. Because due to, after the introduction of National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme, where the infrastructure have been built to the rural areas and the road is the prime one. So road connectivity have been increased. That means access of the rural people has been easier. Communication by that time has developed in a threefold, fourfold time. So it is easier for the producers to reach towards the rural market. As well as the rural people have got their income raise higher. Shifted competition highly saturated urban markets more new product demands of urban consumers has made corporations and industries to gauge for new potential markets in urban sector already it is a very saturated market every time there is a new kind of demand there is a highly competitive market is the urban market so naturally every companies the producers are looking for new avenues of market or the new potential markets and that is available in rural India. Indian rural markets have the largest consumer with higher number of people residing in the rural areas and this caught the attention of numerous companies, multinational companies and advisors, advertisers. A survey conducted by National Council for Applied Economic Research NCAER reveal that purchasing power of the rural people has augmented with the enhancement in productivity and betterment in the price of commanded agricultural products. Agricultural products increased and prices enhanced automatically. The earnings of the rural people also increased. That has created open up a huge rural market and that is also the eye-opener and the target for the all multinational companies. There is a significant relationship in the promotion of rural marketing, rural development in general and agricultural products in particular. The main motto of rural marketing is to promote the strengthen of the village economy. The content now encompasses not only marketing of products which flow to rural areas but also products which flow to urban areas. Rural marketing has become the modern into the nation of the most big corporations. Companies like Hindustan, Colgate-Palmolive, Lever, Britannia, including multinational companies like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, LG, Philips, etc. are now looking through rural market to gain the first Indian market. When you came to the framework of rural marketing, it broadly incorporates understanding their needs and wants, reaching the fast rural customer, supply of goods and services to meet their necessities, carrying out after carrying out after sales services, which lead to the consumer satisfaction, customer satisfaction, as well as repeat purchase by sales. I'm explaining that one. Certain innovative innovation have also taken by introduced in their production capacities and in a quantity form by the companies. It is understood that sometimes rural market customers may not be able to purchase in a bulk like urban one. But there is a demand and they are looking for it. So instead of 100 ml products, can you make it 10 ml products? 10 ml products in a 20 times volumes in a different segments if we are selling into the rural market 
it is larger than the urban market individual customer capacity is less but the number of that customer is huge in the rural that is the uniqueness so make the product quantity in less so the price will be less customer will be more but ultimately at the turnover it is a huge quantity will be sold out in urban setup the 100 million customer is 100 ml customer is there but in rural area 10 ml customers are there but that number is more so automatically it is making up their demands challenges for the promotion of the rural marketing there are a number of challenges encountered first one lack of transportation and storage facilities though the connectivity between the rural and urban areas has in increased still it will go a long way to address the problems related to transportation and storage into the rural area absence of storing facility is another constraint in the promotion of a rural marketing avenues even though these markets have weakness they also have tremendous opportunities which should be availed by the marketers the marketers have to come up with innovative ideas through which the villagers will also get involved in getting business from their respective villages not only their target should be only to sell their products but also they should look options that can the job opportunities to be created into their rural areas because there are products to be sold to so in the selling pattern in the selling system can the rural population to be also be involved so that the employment to be generated also and in by other way their purchasing power will also increase low standard of living and a low purchasing power indian market is a bureau and national council for applied economic research have made available a few studies based on which rural consumers profile can be arrived at a scattered nature low literacy low income than their urban counterpart low standard of living low per capita income and low economic and social positions definitely these are the problems availing at the prevailing into the rural areas diversity of population has a direct bearing on rural marketing media habits and consumer behavior rural consumer behavior sometimes not in a expected way sometimes it may be unexpected pattern one has to take into account the above mentioned characters of rural people and develop innovative models suiting to the contextual variation so you have to keep in mind that the rural india is diversified in different ways there is a still low underdeveloped condition is prevailing but still options are there so if this underdeveloped conditions to be little bit improved then better marketing options are opening up less bearing power low per capita disposable incomes and less bearing power have direct bearing on the purchasing power of the rural people the prominent number of rural people are dependent on agriculture with acute dependence on the various monsoons dependent on the agriculture and agriculture dependent on the monsoon that means automatically the money in hand by which they should have purchase the purchasing power are limited purchasing power and bargaining power of people are determined by their income if there is an income there is a money in hand automatically purchasing a bargaining power will increase hence the marketer has to find ways of making the product affordable to the rural consumer there is no doubt that the companies are trying in different way to make their customer constant and increase their customer in rural areas also but still this gap exists lack of proper financial support system lack of access to financial institutions has a negative impact on the poor and on the vulnerable section of the society in general and the rural people in particular in other modules we discussed these issues despite india's potential for rural best financial economy 
a majority of the country's population still remains unbanked. We have given a statistics in one of our modules that 2.6 billion people in rural India did not have banking accounts. Bank fails to provide credit in most of the rural area because rural masses do not fit to the criteria of demand loan from the banks. To get loan from the bank, there are certain criteria to fulfill and most of the rural banking customers are not fit into that and that's why they are not eligible to get the loan. Where the rural masses are mostly deprived of the banking services because of the rigid criteria of the banking services, rural women are the most sufferer. Now from there, these limited conditions, opportunities are there, how we should go ahead, the way forward pattern. Rural markets untapped potential is throwing a big challenge as well as an opportunity to the marketers in India and now as a rural market is duly recognized, marketers can have integrated marketing plans and programs and meet the challenges by capitalizing the immense marketing opportunity. Marketers themselves should have a certain system to be adopted so that they can cap capitalize this immense marketing opportunities. If they succeed in exploring the rural market potential, we will witness a new era of economic prosperity in the Indian villages in the near future. It requires insistent effort to connect people with right information at right point of time and facilitate their efforts to establishing a sustainable support system. Earlier in the different module we discussed that sustainable support system but sustainable development is essential. So what about the methodology to be adopted that should be sustainable enough so that people can get their support to be in continuation. Rural infrastructure development. First and foremost thing is indeed in the promotion of the rural infrastructure development. Improved irrigation facilities, infrastructure, better roads, free trading in agricultural produce, removal of excise duty on tractors, agri equipments and the insurance scheme for farmers will give a boost to the rural economy and generate a greater demand for corporate products. Warehousing and strong facilities in rural areas will have significant impact on rural development. However, to benefit from this new opportunity, urban marketers will have to gain a better understanding of rural lifestyle needs and aspiration and design appropriate products. Rural infrastructure to be developed so that it will be easier for the companies to reach, warehouse to be prepared, but it is also the producers, so the companies to understand the rural lifestyle needs and aspirations and accordingly their product and delivery pattern to be innovative and designed. NGOs have also a role to play. Non-government organizations working in proximity to rural people have a mandate on focusing on sustainable development through providing avenue for income generation. They command sustainable influence in the villages covered by them. Companies may join hands with them to mutual benefit. With NGOs undertaking distribution, companies realize the benefits acquiring the infrastructure and grassroots level networking. NGOs have networking, if NGOs are joining with them, hand, NGOs will get the benefit from that. Also, organizing security would provide a buffer against the delayed retail collections. From the NGO standpoint, such association with companies would yield employment opportunities for the local residents also. Already noted that if employment can be generated by the companies in selling out their product system, automatically purchase power and the security system will also increase. The organization can create a facilitating environment to promote self-employment to the rural poor, organizing the rural poor into SHGs, assured microfinance through bank linkages, capacity building of the group through financial assistance, training, selection of key activities, infrastructure build-up, technology and marketing support. SHGs can be linked into the system and those are the companies selling their products can have certain sort of fund to be utilized 
for the rural infrastructural or the consumer development so that by return they will get their customers for their products people's control over the resources people's control over the resources is fundamental in getting establishment of a rural based economy through rural marketing that means stakeholders efforts are to be made towards the access of productive assets like land finance decision making with regard to crop diversification from staple wheat to rice to more profitable grass crops simple meaning people has to be more access into control at the concluding stage we can say that rural marketing offer a great scope for a concentrated marketing effort because of a recent increase in the rural incomes and standard of living which help to increase the income level and the production of agricultural commodities in rural areas provide rural marketing should go in line with the needs of the rural people if what are the needs of the rural people at that moment if we follow that one instead of creating more needs that would be more meaningful the product should be need satisfying in nature similarly the products generated in rural areas should find a way to attain the urban masses to fetch the products tangible intangible support to the rural population in general and the poor and need in particular will go a long way in attaining the rural marketing objectives what we can say when there is already a scope already a journey started companies have started entering into the rural market products are started being purchased by the rural customers then there is no thought of return back only way forward is there but definitely all the hinders challenges to be overcome and for which the government of india has to make a proper policy system through this policy infrastructure development consumer development employment generation through the selling of these products has to be taken care thank you